Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Tyler. This is going to be a continuation of how to deal with a toxic family member. And this is going to be part two of what I had talked about from last time. But at the same time, this is going to be the same video request for the person named Nico Para. And I'm not just only doing this video just only for this particular person's or this particular individual's sake, but for every single person out there that is looking for a legit and accurate answer and feel like that this video speaks to them. And that, let me just go on ahead and get started talking about how to deal with a toxic family member part two that I know most of you have been in a situation where that there is that one toxic family member that likes to keep up a lot of mess and likes to keep up a lot of gossip and that this is the same toxic family member that always speak lies Always gossiping behind your back about you, behind closed doors, and, and a lot of times it ain't even true from what this particular toxic member is speaking towards other family members. So the reason why that that same toxic family member always sitting there speaking lies or always speaking misleading things and always gossiping behind closed doors about you about stuff that ain't even true is simply because their whole entire objective is to speak those words and always have those family members to come against you because you find this in a lot of families that you have a toxic family member that always lying and always deceiving and always saying things that's not even true about a particular family members in order for all the rest of the other family members to come against this particular one whatsoever and that from from this that whenever you have a toxic family member that's always spreading spreading lies and then gossiping behind your back towards other family members about stuff that ain't even true at all that whenever it gets to the point that this toxic family member deals with that and the only way to that you can deal with that is and I'm going to tell you how I deal with those type of situations whether it's family or outsiders that whenever it comes to a this particular situation whenever this particular toxic family member is saying lies and then saying gossip and that it ain't even true whatsoever at all. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you, always practice honesty. Always focus on being a person of integrity behind closed doors and always make that your focus. And then always be a, a person that always do things right. And always a person that you have good character. Always practice these two things and that. Whenever you focus on that and being honest and being trustworthy, then I guarantee you that that same toxic family member that's sitting there speaking those lies, that same toxic family members that's sitting there saying all of the gossip about you behind closed doors, I guarantee you that their lies are going to get exposed soon or later. Because the, sooner or later that a lot of times that there is going to be some family members that's going to have to come visit you and probably sit there and tell you all of the stuff that was told and everything and that. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you that. Whenever that happens that you tell that particular family member those more family members about it and then you show the proof and then... Then, 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 what happens is that that same family member or those family members that come and they listen to your side and listen to you about that toxic family member that's been lying and gossiping on stuff that you ain't been true, their eyes are going to get open sooner or later because I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you that the truth always come to light and then the lie always get exposed because the lie is is not stronger than the truth. It is not long stronger than the truth because, like they said, in other words, that same toxic family member that was trying to carry all the other family members against you, then 
when those same family members find out the truth about that toxic family member, then in other words, their eyes are going to be open and sit there and say, this ain't how this particular family member actually is. What in the hell is this, this toxic family member talking about? And then a lot of times in a lot of situations then, just because of your honesty, just because of your, your good character, and then you walking in integrity and honesty, then those, those same family members will turn against that toxic family member just because that toxic family member want nothing but a liar, want nothing but a gossiper that always gossip about things about you behind closed doors. But I'm sitting here telling you again, the lie will always get exposed. It ain't stronger than the truth. And, like they said, whatever you do low down, it's going to have to come back your way. It is. And that's what most toxic family members don't understand. And, like they said, but I'm telling you, that's the way to deal with that situation. Don't listen to the lies or to the gossip of what you done heard and everything. Just focus on integrity. But sooner or later, I guarantee you that it's going to get exposed and that them other family members are going to see you from a different light. And I want to sit here and I just want to say this. When it comes to how to deal with a toxic family Member, and that whenever it comes to a situation with a toxic family member, every time that you turn around, this toxic family member, only thing that this toxic family member just complain, this toxic family member always moaning and groaning about little stuff, being petty all the time, being negative all the time about little stuff that gets to him or her or whatever. And then, in other words, this toxic family member ain't nothing but a negative, constant complainer all the time. Ain't even finding the solution to the problem whatsoever. And then, when it comes to that, when it comes to that toxic family member, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you something that you around this type of negativity and everything that, in other words, in most situations, you around that toxic family members, I know most of you probably might disagree with it, but a lot of times, just be quiet and just a lot of times just walk away, walk away from it. Because it ain't worth listening to their complaining, it ain't worth listening to them constantly complaining and everything, but... If you decide not to walk away from that negative and constantly complaining toxic family member that likes to complain all the time, then in other words, sometimes you just have to be blunt right up into your face. When are you going to stop complaining about this? When are you going to start learning how to be grateful for things? The thing that you're complaining about is the same thing that someone else has. And then the thing that you are complaining about, there's always a solution to that. Then you need to learn how to adapt your mind. That's what you need to do. Because what the problem is, you won't adapt your mind to figure out the solution to that particular problem. And I guarantee you that there's two things that they're going to do. They're probably going to get mad and probably ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> and then that'll probably make that particular individual think all the time and that more that you be blown up in their face they're gonna have to sit there and think about what you have said saying stop complaining start finding a solution to the problem stop being petty there's somebody else that is wants something that you want that same thing and we have a lot we have family members that are like that and I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I have them in mind as well. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. But like I said, that's how the way to deal with a toxic family member, a negative family member that constantly complains and get upset and everything. And sometimes I'm gonna add on this. Sometimes you have to sit there and say, You need to quit whining about it. You need to 
You need to quit whining about it. In other words, whining ain't going to solve nothing. Complaining ain't nothing but just going to make the situation worse. So adapt your mindset. Change your mindset. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this video short. And for those who like and watch this video, I give you the invitation to please subscribe to this channel because you will receive weekly content on a weekly basis. And I thank all of you and have a great and awesome evening.